Hey, it's Brett with Neo News Today, joined by the man who needs no introduction at all, but Da Hongfei, founder of Neo. Thank you for hello. being here. Hello, everyone. Hello. So hello. we wanted to talk to you about some things that you probably don't usually get asked about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, could you yeah. just give us an introduction to a day in the life of Da? Uh, my my uh, introduction to myself? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what is it that you get up to on a daily yeah. basis? Um, we are, and I'm, 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 I'm still very actively involved in the management of uh, of new foundation and mm -hmm. new global development. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I will need to also need to talk to NGC, mm -hmm. new global capital people. Mm -hmm. And I also run the uh, uh, the pro for profit private company called OnChain. Mm -hmm. So my time will be divided into uh, this several like business lines. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on your presentation, mm -hmm. you were talking a little bit about how economies and civilization have evolved over the years, and yes. you yeah. mentioned about the smart economy mm -hmm. and the future economy, and how the whole concept of public and private ownership yeah. it becomes a replace with mm -hmm. more of a shared ownership. Yes. But the entities, what format do they take? Are we talking about mm -hmm. DAOs? Like, uh, how does this future look like? Um, I don't have I don't have a very clear idea. Mm -hmm. I just have a very uh, I saw lights in, 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 uh, in the very far away place, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know with, uh, how exactly it will look like. Mm -hmm. uh, I will imagine we will see new form of uh, institutions, mm -hmm. like people in, human invented uh, a limited company as a kind of uh, institution or organization to mm -hmm. uh, make people collaborate between each other. Mm -hmm. uh, but with blockchain, we've seen uh, new form of uh, institutions like you mentioned DAO is a kind new kind of institutions mm -hmm. it's not defined by the company law it's defined by the by the code by the rule that is set by uh, the developers mm -hmm. so we i imagine we will see lots of this kind of new institutions in the future mm -hmm. sure so i think ever since uh Ethereum had its problem with its DAO. Mm -hmm. I think people have kind of stayed away from that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what about Neo? When is Neo going to kind of enter the DAO space? Are we going to have a standard for that, or how does uh, it evolve? It's it's too early to set a standard for for a DAO or for a virtual organization. Mm -hmm. uh, the market there are. There are different institutions, the planned one and the spontaneous one. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, institutions are not uh, designed. Mm -hmm. Like a language, language is like a kind of protocol. Mm -hmm. It's emerged mm -hmm. uh, like a free market. Markets, uh, uh, a lot of times market is not planned. Mm -hmm. So uh, I also imagine that a DAO or a future, future uh, virtual organization, probably it's not uh, uh, planned hierarchically, mm -hmm. so we need to let the market, let the community uh, try different uh, ways to do that and mm -hmm. the best uh, uh, form will emerge in the future. So kind yeah. of an evolution mm -hmm. through trial and error. Yes, yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. So Neo 3.0, mm -hmm. I guess that's kind of a far away thing, but mm -hmm. which aspects of the, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. of the migration are you mm -hmm. most looking forward to? Uh, there are many. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like the abstraction of the uh, architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, in the future, we don't have, we will not, no more have uh, global assets, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, UTXO based. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, everything will be account based, uh, uh, theoretically. Mm -hmm. you, because theoretically, you can still do UTXO uh, account under. Uh, smart contract but that's uh, difficult and most of the time it's pointless mm -hmm. and also we will have a uh, native contract mm -hmm. that is running directly on the o uh, operating system uh, we will have uh, unified transaction types so mm -hmm. everything is on uh, will be run by smart contract mm -hmm. and also we will see layering of uh, of neo so neo will be the the baseline, the, the layer one blockchain, mm -hmm. and we will have layer two solutions like mm -hmm. state channel. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you will have uh, developers will have ability to access uh, internet resources directly mm -hmm. in the in their dApps. Uh, also, they can use uh, decentralized uh, storage called NeoFS mm -hmm. to uh, save, to store their uh, uh, the data from their applications. Mm -hmm. So a lot of new features and a lot of improvements. Sure. Mm -hmm. So Neo mm -hmm. is really aiming to be the mm -hmm. complete package 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the things that really attracted mm -hmm. me to Neo in the first place mm -hmm. was with DBFT having the, the finality in each block. Yeah. Because it mm -hmm. seems that any financial instrument, you mm -hmm. need to make sure that when something is settled, it yeah. is really settled. Yes. Mm -hmm. And obviously forks are, mm -hmm. they kind of ruin the immutability of the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So where did the inspiration for that come from? Um, it actually come from another project. Mm -hmm. It's called Tendermint. Mm -hmm. uh, back to that time, I I had a few emails exchange with uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, I I can't remember the name. <laughs> he's a he's a Korean uh, American, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and the the consensus they use is called DLS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a kind of a traditional distributed. Uh, con distributed consensus, mm -hmm. but it's not BFT. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I was inspired by that, mm -hmm. so I started looking to uh, 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 conventional uh, uh, distributed system the consensus they used. Mm -hmm. uh, so I find out PBFT probably is uh, is one of the um, uh, more practical way to do consensus. Mm -hmm. And we add and I talked to Eric, and uh, we add delegation into that. So we have uh, DBFT. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, with finality in mind, I think that mm -hmm. is possibly one of the things that mm -hmm. makes Neo a very compelling place for state channels because yep. mm -hmm. it allows them to be settled in quite a quick manner, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what are the differences mm -hmm. here that people can expect mm -hmm. when state channels become properly integrated into Neo? Mm -hmm. Is it just mm -hmm. uh, a case of uh, helping scaling or mm -hmm. is this going to improve the latency of a transaction as well? Uh, state channel can improve a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, first, scalability, mm -hmm. uh, it, because uh, most of the uh, transactions will not hit the layer one blockchain. Mm -hmm. It happens as a, a layer two, so it's very fast. Mm -hmm. And only uh, uh, people that are involved with the transaction will, uh, will 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 have the information of the transaction. Mm -hmm. And second, like like I just said, uh, it, it helps uh, to pr uh, preserve privacy mm -hmm. because uh, other people wouldn't know the tra the detailed transaction. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, the latency is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's near instant, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and also, it probably will be easier for developers to build uh, applicate adapts on top of layer two solutions. Mm -hmm. They don't need to really learn Solidity or other smart contracts. Mm -hmm. uh, layer two can serve as a middleware, mm -hmm. so uh, it's easier for uh, uh, DAP developers also. Mm -hmm. So there are many benefits of uh, state channels. Mm -hmm. yeah. You actually mm -hmm. mentioned Solidity there, mm -hmm. so as a, as a domain specific language. Mm -hmm. Uh, where, where was the appeal of having mm. multiple languages? Is it just about the onboarding of new developers? Yeah, it's uh, it's easier and uh, uh, we can utilize a lot of uh, the compilers, more mature compilers, mm -hmm. uh, because the design of Neo VM is very similar to JVM or, mm -hmm. or uh, 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 Microsoft.NET's uh, CLR. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, uh, uh, intermediate level language mm -hmm. uh, or instructions. Uh, we can we can use uh, matured commercial compilers to compile those uh, high level languages mm -hmm. onto some uh, inter intermediate level language, mm -hmm. and then we translate that or compile that into uh, new VMs uh, instructions. Mm -hmm. So we can. Uh, you can say that we are stepping on the shoulder of uh, like previous uh, 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 compilers or, or uh, sure. .NET, Java, yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think something that I actually really appreciated mm -hmm. is that during the height of the, the mm -hmm. previous, uh, the ICO bubble, mm -hmm. you were calling it as it was, right? Mm -hmm. You've always been very realistic about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that same mm -hmm. you know, realistic approach, mm -hmm. what's your mm -hmm. kind of idea of the current blockchain sentiment? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's uh, it's it's getting better actually mm -hmm. uh, during the bearish market. A uh, lot of people are are they're not attending endless uh, conferences. Mm -hmm. They're back to their office and uh, very constrained from marketing activities mm -hmm. and laid off uh, people that are not necessary, mm -hmm. keeping a small group of people. Mm -hmm. uh, at the first few years of uh, Neo, mm -hmm. we are having a very small team. Mm -hmm. It's uh, between it's uh, between ten to twenty people, mm -hmm. uh, and we, with that team, we managed to get uh, Neo Mainnet launched. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not about how many people you have. Mm -hmm. uh, bear market is not always a bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it makes you be more clear, more focused on the important stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So yeah. obviously, in addition to the yeah. core team, you've yeah. uh, you've just opening up the office in Seattle. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and yeah. you've spent a lot of time funding and yeah. helping grow the development communities, mm -hmm. and these are the people that can succeed the development of Neo into the far future, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, where where did mm -hmm. that kind of motivation come from? Mm -hmm. Most projects are so focused on mm -hmm. having a centralized core team. Mm -hmm. What was it that inspired you all to go out there and get these development communities started? Uh, it depends on the stage. What stage are you are you at? Mm -hmm. uh, at very early, there's no community developers. Mm -hmm. Eric did uh, most of the not most and ninety nine percent of the coding mm -hmm. at very early stage. Uh, but gradually, we have uh, community developers uh, get on board, mm -hmm. like uh, City of Zion. Mm -hmm. They did a lot of contributions to to to, to our code base, mm -hmm. and. Uh, 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 the, uh, from 2019, we will have a office here in Seattle, mm -hmm. NGD office. Uh, the reason we have been comparing different places in US, mm -hmm. uh, including San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York maybe, or mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Seattle, mm -hmm. and we find out it's uh, if we want to do serious development, mm -hmm. we want to hire uh, best engineers here. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, Seattle is the best place, mm -hmm. and we are very lucky that I met two uh, former uh, Microsoft executives mm -hmm. they are very experienced in uh, building a ecosystem mm -hmm. uh, in helping uh, uh, to building a better uh, developer experience mm -hmm. they have been uh, deeply involved with Donet mm -hmm. from day one mm -hmm. so uh, it's very I, I, I would say it's very lucky and they're very passionate mm -hmm. uh, about Neo so I, I do believe uh, NGD Seattle will have a um, will contribute a lot to new uh, mm -hmm. under the uh, leadership of uh, uh, this two, uh, uh, John and Huang Peng. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. with the migration mm -hmm. to Neo 3.0, mm -hmm. obviously there are a lot of variables here, there's lots of things that are going to have to happen, yes. mm -hmm. and it's not going to be an easy process, mm -hmm. it's going to be complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you reaching out to the community developers mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. projects mm -hmm. and making sure that everyone's on the same page? Uh, yes, uh, we are still uh, at a very early stage. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, most of the discussion are happening at GitHub. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's happening between developers mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing is said. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the title of the presentation given by Eric talk about news report is possible improvements or changes will happen uh, uh, for new three. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything is still under discussion. Sure. And uh, the biggest challenge will be migration, mm -hmm. uh, whether we need we will very, very likely need to have a hard fork, mm -hmm. but it is lucky that we, the consensus uh, mechanism, the governance model we used, it is uh, easier for us to do hard fork upgrade mm -hmm. than uh, Ethereum or uh, Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, but another challenge is whether we need to have a, like uh, have a new genesis block mm -hmm. uh, that's a, that's a very big challenge mm -hmm. and we also need to talk to exchanges we need to talk to uh, dapp developers mm -hmm. uh, to ask them to migrate to a new version mm -hmm. so there's a lot of work to do a lot of uh, uh, technical decisions to make mm -hmm. so it won't be happen over a few weeks or a few months mm -hmm. I, I i will imagine it will take at least a year or maybe a year and a half mm -hmm. so it will happen sometime in, in 2020 mm -hmm. yeah but even mm -hmm. before that mm -hmm. i mean we've got a lot of interesting changes coming up possibly mm -hmm. in, within the next couple of releases of yeah. the uh, mm -hmm. of the node software mm -hmm. and we have the state channels coming mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. so with all this being well mm -hmm. integrated, mm -hmm. there is potential mm -hmm. for Neo to actually be mm -hmm. used mm -hmm. properly by different applications before mm -hmm. then. Uh, which applications mm -hmm. currently in the Neo ecosystem mm -hmm. do you think have the most chance of being a catalyst for adoption? Uh, I still think uh, the infrastructure is not, not ready mm -hmm. for mass uh, adoption, mm -hmm. so I don't see any dApps will have uh, like internet level adoption mm -hmm. yet. Uh, we are still at least two or three years away from that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, these days, gaming is definitely the uh, most popular uh, dApps uh, mm -hmm. on blockchain. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second will be decentralized applications. Mm -hmm. uh, so Nash, uh, I heard uh, from Fabio that Nash will be launched uh, very soon, in, mm -hmm. a, in one month or two. Uh, so I imagine there will, I, 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 I do believe they will be quite ho uh, help, uh, helpful and they will be uh, uh, very successful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're actually one of the advisors to Nash. Yeah, so I am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how have you mm -hmm. been helping them uh -huh. get everything together? 
Uh, I actually I haven't been involved with uh, Nash for quite a few, at least a few months. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, from the very uh, beginning, I talked to Fabio uh, quite a lot, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, he is bu busy building the the, the product mm -hmm. and applying different licenses, and we are uh, very busy uh, fixing current issues yeah. and planning for new three. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh -huh. So, is there anything else uh -huh. that you would like to uh -huh. say to the Neo community? Uh -huh. uh, I hope everyone have hope, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I do believe uh, um, the vision of Neo is to build, a, to to serve, to work for the future smart economy, and we have uh, a vision that to be to become the number one blockchain by 2020. Uh, that's only. Uh, one or two years away so we need to work really hard and that is also one of the reason why we started the ngd seattle office mm -hmm. uh, neo or a public blockchain or smart contract is a smart contract system is a kind of platform uh, we wish that uh, with the opening of uh, ngd seattle uh, with uh, uh, the experience from uh, former Microsoft executives, we will have a better experience for uh, developers. Mm -hmm. So if you are a developer, uh, please consider new. And also uh, starting from new three, we will implement, we will use a uh, specification first uh, development process. So everyone uh, can follow the uh, specification and your implementations will be compatible with uh, uh, other impl implementations. Mm -hmm. And we will probably put your implementation under the official uh, uh, GitHub uh, repo mm -hmm. if you closely f uh, followed the uh, uh, specification. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Da. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, if you yeah. want to catch up with more of our DevCon coverage, you can do so on our Twitter page, on YouTube, or of course, over on neonewstoday.com. Thanks again, Da. Thank you.